Hey, good morning, everyone, or whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about tonnage, different types. There's net ton, gross ton, metric ton, long ton. Uh, so I'm going to talk about these and why it's important to know what they are. And it's really silly why scrapyards go off of this. They should just pay everybody by the pound so it's real nice, clear, and, and easy. Um, but they don't. I don't know why. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to make videos here recently, so I figured, hey, this is easy for me, so I'm going to give it to you. So without further ado, here you go. All right, so I made this little uh, sheet here on Excel, so we'll go through it real quick. So it's important to know all of uh, the, what, what these tons are. So a net ton is 2,000 pounds right here. A gross ton is 2,240 pounds, and a metric ton is 2,204 pounds, and I believe it's actually 2,204.65 or something like that, but, um, and of course, I, I guess you could round it up, but I like even numbers, so I'm going to stick with 2,204. Um, and then a long ton, I just included this because you'll hear this sometimes, but it's the exact same thing as a gross ton. All right, so this is why this is important uh, to know what your scrapyard that you're taking it to is paying you off to, because a lot of them might say, Oh yeah, we're paying $160 a ton. They might be talking about a gross ton, and I'm going to show you why this really matters. So we have our pounds on a net ton is 2,000. Our price per ton is 160. That's what they're paying customers. Okay, we're just using this as an example. So to find out the price per pound that they're paying you, because they're not going to have a net pound and a gross pound and stuff like that. So um, we're going to take 160 which is eight, sorry. And we're going to divide that number by the amount of pounds that are in a net ton, which is 2,000. And it's important that you do it in this order, you're going to get a different number. You want to divide the price per ton by the pounds that are in that ton. So that gives us eight cents a pound right here. Now, if I did this, if we did the pounds divided by the price per ton, you get twelve fifty. Now, I know you guys would all love to make twelve dollars and fifty cents per pound uh, on scrap steel, but it's just not going to happen. So, let's put back my original. Sorry. We have eight cents a pound. So right here, I'm just going to drag this down, but it's going to go ahead and give me, it's just going to copy the formulas. So it's going to do 160 divided by 2,240, 160 divided by 2,204. So I'm just going to drag this down, and it's going to do all those formulas for me. So this is why it makes a difference, because if you went to Scrapyard A, and they said we pay $160 a ton, and you went to scrapyard B, and they also said they paid $160 a ton. But if they're going off of a gross ton, then you're actually getting paid less per pound. And that's how that works. Now, let's let's do this right here. I hope this is in my camera view. Um, so it might not seem like a big difference, but here's why it is. Because let's say um, you bring in, well, let's find the difference. So, eight minus nine. Oops, gotta put an equal sign in there. So here's the difference. It's not even a penny, it's 0 .00857. Okay, so let's say that you brought in 10,000 pounds and you thought you were getting $160 a ton, when in fact, you're really only uh, getting seven cents a pound because you're getting paid on a gross ton. So if you brought in 10,000 pounds, well, the difference is going to be $85. And I know a lot of you are like, well, I never have 10,000 pounds of scrap iron. Uh, but sometimes you do, you know, if you cleaned up something uh, and over time, you know, you might only be taking a couple hundred pounds of iron to the scrapyard every day. But over time, 
that's going to equal out to a whole lot of money because every, every day you're, you're taking a couple hundred pounds at scrapyard. Uh, I mean, factor that in to the whole year. Uh, it's going to be a lot of money. You can do the math on that if you want. I'm going to go ahead and delete all that. Give me one second. Okay. And here is another way that, um, People can, uh, scrapyards can use this kind of to their advantage. So let, let's just say that they're paying um, the same amount. So they're paying eight cents a pound. 0 0.08. All right, so if we take uh, equals 0 0.08. We multiply 0 0.08 by 2240, $179.20 per ton. So this is how they could use it to their advantage. They're paying the customers the same, eight cents a pound, but when they call them on the phone or whatever, they can say, hey, how much are you paying per ton? And this scrapyard A is going to say $160 a ton. Scrapyard B is going to say $179 a ton. And you're going to go, oh, well, obviously that's better. It's $19 a ton more. But in reality, because they're paying off of a gross ton, you are getting the same exact amount of money. So use it as a way just to get you to bring in your scrap. So I hope that helps. A lot of you already know this stuff, uh, but like I said, I uh, haven't had a whole lot of time to make videos, and this was really easy for me to do, so take it or leave it. Uh, scrap it up!